Today is uh, Wednesday, and uh, we had a little rain, actually a little quick moving storm blew through about about noon. This is Wednesday evening, and I brought the goats out for a while. Uh, Ivan's over here, and the goats. They're scattered around, and making it through these bars here. Yeah, there's some. And they're on over here behind me. It's a miracle. Oh. Uh, look at that girl. Got a tummy on her. Sophie, you're such a fat girl. I'm sorry. You're thick. You're thick, Sophie. Back to all of y'all kind of thick. I like watching them rear up and see she'll try to pull it down if she can. The others will gather, gather around all of them get a bite. It's funny how they do that. They all show up. Is it going to come down low enough? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get some. Hold it, baby girl. Hold it down. Hold it. We're getting it. Oh, now this other goat wants to get some. This big goat. I ain't got another cow on this place that eats with the goats like she does. Whatever they eat, she eats. <laughs> well, Ivan does too. Just a bunch of goats. Be careful up in there, Moki. It's funny though how they will. They'll want to rear up and pull a limb down. And they'll all run over while it's being held down and get a bite. Today, she ran over and got some. There comes Ivan back. He says, uh, it's all okay over here, Papa. Well, I think it's okay down here. Heidi has not Showed no kind of alarm. I was walking around checking stuff out. I think it's going to be okay. It was most likely a coyote. I may have mentioned Dan had come by earlier right after that rain. He said he could smell something himself. <laughs> now, Dan, not near as good as Heidi. He said, Dad, I can smell something. He said, I, I couldn't figure what it was. It wasn't. It's kind of a musky odor. I said, well, it may have been Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Ivan. I love you, son. I do. You know. <laughs> Why do you want to do like that to Paw Paw? Don't you dare stick that tail up in my, in my face. No, don't you dare. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to sit here, me and my girl, and relax. Lady's supposed to have me an appointment next week. She says, you're going to try to set me up next week. That'd be good. I'm with Heidi at the vet's office. Now, this, is the, this is the same wood, woods that Johnny, uh, John, that Ivan, that's what happens when you get old. <laughs> that Ivan would not let these goats stay in that day. He kept running them out of here. But today, he's in there with them. He's, it's all okay. That day, evidently, he smelt something had been here or something was here and maybe had just left. Well, that don't make no sense. Yeah, something had been here, evidently, because he felt there was a fear to let these babies stay and he run them all out and made them go back up on the field with the cows. Now today he's in there with them. It's, it's like okay. And Heidi herself is not showing no kind of alarm, just, you know, relaxing. I'm real proud of Ivan. I know. I know he makes phone calls and, and someone said he's probably got speed dial. That he may. And if he ever gets hold of a tablet or internet, just don't tell him what all he'll be ordering. I'm surprised he hasn't contacted, 
contacted Amazon. <laughs> and charge it to Popo. Just charge it to Popo. All right, I'll tell you what. You guys are good to these babies. They're good to me, too. You got, you got to both of us, ain't you? Everybody's good to us. <laughs> we appreciate it, too. Yeah, everything's at peace here today. Everything's just happy. It's nice and cool this evening. That little storm, just, it was like a, just a line. It just blew right through. It dropped just a little bit of rain and a little cool weather right behind it, and it was gone. Yeah, everything's good here today. Every now and then. <laughs> Every now and then he comes to check on his pawpaw too. He said, I'm watching the goats, but I have to watch out for my pawpaw too. And he'll leave them. He's come over here to love. You're a good boy, Ivan. Very good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Ivan. It's, it's funny how he, do, he does it here. He'll leave them. He'll leave them. Getting a little sun on my hair here. On my head. He'll leave them. He'll come over here and love them pop off. And he'll go back. That's pretty sweet, ain't it, Heidi? You know what he is. <laughs> he, he says, time to go home. I says, time. What, what the, he gonna mess with her. Pick on. Him. I'm gonna pick on Papa. That's my job. My job, pick on. Y'all better go. He said go. I said go. I said go. Y'all gotta go. Go on, Moki. Y'all don't. You got a mind. <laughs> Are they crazy or what? Right, it's time to go home. We're going home. You know what it is? They know when they go in that pen up there. And she knows it too. They all know it. And he knows it for sure. There's going to be treats. So that cranked up coming up out of them woods there. Man, he brought them goats out of there in a heartbeat. And her right ran along with it. They said, let's go. Let's go. Moki, you're not going to ride me, Moki. You're not riding. Not, no, no, not 
got that little girl with me and we've been feeding up she's she's helped me feed up i know here come papa now she just wants to go for just a ride and we're through feeding up so we're gonna go you ready all right get to sleep let's go get up there kid <laughs> Oh, I don't know how I got, how, how did I get stuck with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I hurt your feelings, baby. Pop, I'm sorry I said that. I'm happy. Oh, I know, I'm happy to have you. Oh, we're coming. Close gate. Because I know who's right there will mess up. She'll mess up. All right. You have eight, little girl. You have already eaten. You ready, baby? You ready? ready? Come on, honey. We're going to go. Everybody's at least two nash left to come out. She got grounded yesterday. She came out and I went around and come back in the front yard. Let's go, Let's go baby. I've got them under control, Papa. No, if you got that one under control, I'm not Ivy. You know how Kippy is. Kippy's kind of a pushy, pushy cow. She's kind of pushy, yeah. She, oh, yes, you are. You're a pushy cow. You're always trying to push people around because you're big. You're big old thick girl. You're thick. Now, you got to get out of the way, man. This girl going. We're going for a ride. Going for a ride, Ivan, okay? You watch him. Take care of him, okay? It's your job. I do not appreciate a tail in my face. You got a little bobo right there on the back of your lip. What do you think about him? What do you think about Ivan? Ivan. Let's go. That's April. That's April. Bree named her April, I think. Yeah. Here's Zippy and her boyfriend. Little black mama. And sweetie. And we hadn't got a name for this one yet. Wasn't for sure if I was going to be able to keep her or not, because I'm trying to downsize. I've told y'all that, but I, uh, I really like how she looks. 
But I'm going to tell y'all now, get prepared. We're not going to be able to keep Moses' children. Tell them, Ivy. Tell them. Because I don't know where else to put them. And I can't let Moses stay with his daughters. Okay? If I can rehome them, I will. If I can't, they'll have to, they'll have to go to market. There's nothing I can do about it. It's not by choice. But I can almost guarantee heifers out of him in a market will go as a herd, herd prospect. I do too. And it, it's peaceful. It's quiet back here. Uh, nothing, nothing more relaxing to come out in this pasture in the afternoons and the evenings when it's cool. And the animals are all grazing. And, and they're all at peace. And you sit here and you just can't help but just feel a peaceful feeling come over you. It's just very relaxing and peaceful. And, uh, Heidi's okay. She's going out in the grass. She likes to roll in the grass. <laughs> I told you. I told you. She loves to roll in the grass. And uh, the vet's always supposed to call me back sometime today and tell me when I can bring her in. Don't take your boots off, kid. You lose them, then we're going to be up in trouble with your mama. Huh? Yeah, we'll be in trouble with your mama. Mommy. Look at a dirty yard. Dirty leg kid. Uh. <laughs> All right, we're going to get on, make our little circle, and we're going to go back, and I got to go to track supply. Catch you guys later. And Gigi's going to have to spend the afternoon at Carly's house, Carly and Coda's, because Dustin goes to work at 1. Jill has a ball game out of town after, after school. She's a coach. And, uh, so it'll be about probably 10.30 her getting home tonight. So G says better just to stay there with the little girls than to have Jill come all the way to Plum Grove to get them and then go back, get them up, take them back, put them back to bed again. Now she can go ahead and put them to bed. I'll probably be stuck with you all evening. Your mama will probably dump you off on me, huh? Won't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her, her and Jake will want to go for a ride. I get dumped. You get dumped off with me. I just coming back. She's going to the pond. All right, we're just going to make a ride, guys. Catch you guys later. 
fight is just about as bad as those cows about won't get in the water. My people. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Y'all take care. <laughs> 